we are back at uh, the GCFCE today and uh, you might have guessed that we're here to look at something that Dan has bought. Uh, I have not seen this and uh, not to worry this is not going to interfere with the Olds 98 uh, rehab but uh, Dan lasted about as long as I do when I say I'm not going to buy any more project cars. So uh, this one's actually apparently not too much of a project and today we're going to try to get it to run and possibly go for a little jaunt around the yard here. Oh, there's Nikki. Bye, Nikki. There she is. Hope you guys enjoy. We're going to go in there and see what Dan has been unable to stop himself from buying. Well, at least we know it's probably not a Dodge truck because he's got lots of those. And he has a Ford truck too. All right. <laughs> yeah, sweet, hey. Oh man, this isn't your kind of thing at all. Never. No, you just don't like ex-government four by fours in any oh, way. I'm just a sucker, hey. <laughs> like, how long did you last when you said I'm not buying any more projects? Like a like day? Like forty-five minutes. <laughs> Pretty clean, man. Holy. Dude, look at, look at this fucking thing. Like, it's, it's it, Look at the cab corners and stuff. Like, it's fucking solid. It's got some dents, but like. Oh, we don't care about those. That is awesome. Isn't this fucking cool, hey? What year is it? 81. 81. So it's the new body style. Right. The door panel hangs up a little. Okay. My Stick. favorite part about crew cabs, it was originally extremely base. Yeah, yeah. Like it Still didn't pretty base. Factory. You can see somebody had cut. Oh, that's head. a later radio, maybe. But you can see the hole that was cut for it, right? Okay, yeah. Oh, whatever. Yeah. yeah. But my favorite part about the crew cabs is all of them have the '70s rear interior stuff in them, all the way to '85. Oh, okay. They just didn't tool up. It's like. You want early, or later 80s and sit in the front? If you want earlier. <laughs> if you want early 80s, sit yeah. in the back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the back of the chair. Oh, I've never boy. seen. I've never seen one of these. I have wanted a crew cab. Oh, for I as know. Long look as I at can this. Remember. Look at the tin. There's so much tin in here. It's yeah, awesome. this is cool, hey. The rear door panels are of a different material than the front, eh? Hey? Well, they're they're the 70s ones. Yeah, but I mean it's a different plastic. Yeah. Because the 70 or these ones haven't decomposed like the other ones. So it needs a little repair at the front. It looks like what happened is it looks like they dragged it with a chain. Yeah, yeah. Around the whole grill and through here. And obviously that's why it has a new rat in it. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I think they just just pulled it out of the trees, probably. Probably is where what happened. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a 318? It is a 318, even though he had a 360 sticker on the the uh right. Air cleaner, it is most definitely a 318. Okay. Is it the original model engine? Yeah, it would be a 318. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Four wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Power steering, power brakes. That would have been standard on a 4x anyway. Right? I think crew cabs came standard with the heaviest front axle and rear axle. Right. And if I read that right. What are the axles? ASAPs. Yeah, man. And original paint all the way up and down. I know, it's amazing. It is really. I pulled a Carfax on it just to see where it was from. Yeah. And it looks like it was from. It was from uh, Oregon originally. Yeah. So it's a, what, Department of. It'd be like forestry. a forestry. It'd be a, a forestry truck for sure. Yeah. yeah. It'll shine up. Oh, it'll shine up really good. Yeah, I just. I, I was cleaning up the one fender before you came. Oh, just yeah. Just because I'm a sucker for punishment. Yeah, yeah. And. Uh, oh, sure. Right at there the, you like, go. Look at that. Eh? Right? And like. There's your government green. I love it. Oh yeah, man, this thing's gonna clean up so nice. But then the bad, somebody used it as a scaffold. Okay, yeah, so, so, that, so the hood. soft spot on the hood, but right. that'll, that'll push back out. And then the roof. They also used this quite a Oh, okay. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. Because there's a double skin, right? Yes. Yeah, but you can't even see the roof. Well, the guy who bought it off <clears> thought it was a fire lookout truck for where he was from, which was about an hour east of Smithers. Mm -hmm. And probably brought up used 
and then used by either some municipal or some volunteer fire department, I imagine. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. But it was registered this year in BC. Oh, good. So, well, what do you need to route a province, you think? Everything. It's everything? Good. Yeah. Because my plan is to, to take the engine out of the white truck and get rid of the white truck. Okay, yeah. Because it's it's virtually a direct bolt in. Right, right. So, this, uh, whatever we do to get this running is kind of temporary. Well, because it doesn't, need, like, it, you can't even lift this thing around the yard. Like, oh, so it runs so, so bad that. It uh, runs so fucking bad. Okay. Well, that sounds like a fun mission. I'd be uh, stoked to see this thing drive out of here. T quad. And uh, you can see they back the throttle, like the idle mix or the idle screw out yeah. all the way. Like it's all the way out and they're using the fast idle off the choke is turned all the way in to keep the idle. Jeez. Right, so somebody was just had. Somebody just didn't know what they were doing. Somebody didn't know what they were doing. He said he'd put a distributor in it and I'm guessing that so we probably got the timing wrong too. So we're gonna check that too. Oh, show me this carburetor you got. It's a truck talk. Truck talk. Oh, yep. okay. I, yep. You sent me that note, and you're like, I'm gonna put the truck talk on, and I'm like, is that some kind of? But note, I went to Paul's house and grabbed an AFB as a backup. So this is an Amazon special. Yeah, okay. It looks pretty good. It comes nicely wrapped up and shit. What you just bought is a clone of this. Yes, this is a carb I've had for years. Yeah. That the accelerator pump is bad. But this one's new. It's a complete Edelbrock ripoff. It might right, be sure. made in China. Yeah. And like. Right on. But, uh. But like virtually. Shouldn't be. You see, there's some differences. This is a. Now, mind you, this is a mid 70s carburetor. Yeah. Right. How much was it in Canadian pesos? 250. 250? 250, 250 yeah. pesos, yeah. Convertible, though. Convertible pesos. So you, I guess you just need a gasket. Oh, look, it comes with. Yeah, and I got the you square bore to spread bore. Okay. Yeah. Just because. I don't know. I, bore. I know. I usually just throw these gaskets. Got bigger secondaries in this. No, nope, same size. Okay. But the ones on the thermal quad are like massive, right? Oh, right. Those are fun to fix up. Usually, I wouldn't even run one of these gaskets. And no instructions, so we will see. Is install on your government Dodge truck. That's pretty much today. what it looks like, doesn't yeah. it? We got some wiring. I got some extra fuel line here from other stuff. So good. Let's uh, so let's go. Let's get. Well, let's get if you problem. want, uh, get me set up and I'll start ripping the old one off. I can't fuck that up too much. That's why I like these old three quarter tons. You can really sit in the fender wells. And, <laughs> you know, you can just can't work on this new stuff anymore. Somebody's painted it an unfortunate shade of blue under here. What, the engine? Yeah, that's yeah. the original color. Yeah. Somebody's got some Ford blue on top there. Yeah. It literally needs to just run and run and move. Yeah. If it runs and moves, I can get an inspection done. Well, there's a random vacuum line off the back of the carb that's not hooked to anything. Well, right. And like, that's not right. No, but it's a ground, whatever. Yeah. You know when somebody would come pick up a car from your house and you, they're like, I'm coming from Northern BC. Yeah. And you'd be like, you can just imagine what they're driving and how it sounds like. <laughs> 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 like that. And you're just like, and they roll up and it's like, it was like 16 hours to get here. You know, we lost 12 liters oil, but we made it. <laughs> and solved. Cause that one ain't going back on. Deleted. That's a Look at how flooded out that thing is. Oh my good Lord almighty. Climb in. Oh my God. <laughs> this looks pretty funny on this grubby engine. Oh. This carburetor might be a total piece of shit. Like I have, No, I've, it's a I've gamble. I've heard good things, I think. I mean. Honestly, how hard is it to fucking build a carburetor though? Fuck, I gotta pull that off. That's the choke heater. Yeah. Oh, we don't have that kind anymore. Yeah. Well, and it gets right in the way of this car. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, now you got a vacuum pot here. Oh, EGR. Got to yard it. There's no way to get though. I should have said something. Is it closing? Mm. Oh, it doesn't open or close. Nothing works. Okay, so let's do this. 
Is that ugly space or after you go back in? It's gonna look like it. Yeah. Let's see if that would even solve our problem here. Oh, those. Like, would that solve our problem? Yeah, it certainly seems like it. Now, you can just cut that. Just cut this off. Yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do. This is kind of a fun feature of these uh, repop carbs. Is uh, I don't care if you don't like some feature of it, you can just chop it off. There's no Mopar police gonna come to your house and give you shit. I wonder if anybody's ever done a Cummins to 318 swap. Probably not. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Nice little custom mod there, hey. Right, making a gasket sandwich now. Have it your way. <laughs> hmm? Maybe. There. You're good. All four barrels can. Okay. Light them up. Okay. All right. <laughs> How did it? Because it had so much fuel in the intake still. Oh, like it was it literally was just pouring gas. I was like, "How did it start with an empty bowl?" Okay. Do that. Well, it might have ran out of fuel. What do you mean? I don't know if the fuel pump's gonna get full on turning. Hmm. This car might be a total piece of shit too. It's got a vacuum leak like, really bad. Okay, well. But it runs. It well, does run. comes running under its own steam and it just keeps going That's not a damn kind of vehicle at all, hey? <laughs> Stuck in four low, so it's a little dirty. Oh, it's in low. Yeah, we're gonna try to get it in. Oh 
Oh, you got it out? Yeah. Nice. There we go. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Friendly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It runs way better than it did. Yeah, it's better than it was? Okay. Yeah, you got no vacuum advance either. That's right. Yeah, so it's never going to do much more than than idle. Yeah. But, but it idles great now. Well, at least that. It you moves itself. sitting idle before. You can't even get it off the trailer. Nothing. Okay. Well, moves itself around anyway. Great. Yeah, take me for a ride. Yeah, good. Clang. Look at the tin on the roof too, hey? Like. Oh yeah. You're okay. way up in the air in this baby. Yeah. It's exactly like our both our other trucks, hey? Just yeah, more yeah. doors in the back. I think the seat's better than the newer ones. I like this better than the seat in mine. Of I course, think this mine's pretty shagged. How many miles on this thing? Thirty-three thousand. It says miles, and I'd actually, with the body on it, I'd actually believe it. Yeah, it's actually okay. possible. Surprised the motor is so grouchy, but who knows, right? It's pretty low, but it's probably got thirty-five thousand idle hours on it. Yeah, that. yeah. Well, and who knows what? Around. Who, like now it does. Who knows how it was done to it before, right? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Has he got a granny low? Yeah. Clutch is kind of sticky. Yeah, yeah. That's where brakes would be nice. Turning and... radius is not terrible. It's not terrible. No, for most of the lights are working, kind of. Get up, right? Way, yeah. Oh, there's another Will It Run project just waiting for us. That was supposed to happen this summer. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get like, one of those key cutter guys to come out. They said they would. Oh, yeah. And they can, and then at least I don't know if they're... I'd love to hear that one run. Yeah. I think it will. I think it will, yeah. Fleet of champions there. It's like driving by a small shit dealer behind somebody's house in Saskatchewan. Yeah, there's okay. a shitty little Saskatchewan dealership right. here. Late model police car, 50s car, abandoned project. <laughs> Army truck. <laughs> right? Cheap and a skid steering move. Yeah, that's right. It's gets here when all else fails. Everybody's gonna want to hear it from you that you're not abandoning the Oldsmobile project. I'm not abandoning. No, this is that's. I'm gonna push it actually back in the garage. Not today, but I think possibly. This is Sunday, pretty much all the work this truck's getting for now. We're we're literally backing it into. Oh, oh we're God. literally parking it, are we? We're backing it into its home for the for the winter. Yeah, for the next several months because now it idles i don't really need it to do anything else yeah good and you can move it around that's what we're that's what our goal was today get this thing so you can actually move it around solved nice thanks for having me over buddy yeah this is fucking awesome man. yeah great stuff i love this car oh this door doesn't let me out though oh. i don't like it anymore <laughs> Well, look at that carburetor yeah. on there, just like, hey, I'm yep. here to save the day. All the way from overseas, hey? That's a winter... Yeah, now the olds can come back in. Now that Man, I just think it's cool as hell. So, the idea overall is that this truck will be receiving a Cummins 12 valve from a road off truck that you have, is that uh, from right? From a truck that got written off like 12 years ago and, and I've been looking for a crew cab. I've always- You know, we joke about impulse buy and whatever, but this was on the list for years. All right, yeah, let's get cool. back on the Oldsmobile. Next is what, brakes? Yeah, we're gonna do the brakes and then once it's stopping, we can work on the getting keys fixed for it. And then once I do keys, then we can deal with windows and lights and then if that all works then plates I, I can <laughs> well the snow is back it's almost time for snowmobile day again look at this hey yeah like everything's frozen too just... bye nikki bye. see you soon
There's a regular ah, contributor. Same old shit. <laughs>